Hello, my name is George Poehler from Payne Mission Volkswagen. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the 2010 GMC Acadia. Let's go ahead and talk about the engine. This vehicle comes with a 3.6 variable valve timing V6 engine. It's going to be 288 on the horsepower and then 270 pounds feet of torque. It's also your gas mileage is going to get about 23, 24. Um, so the gas mileage is not too bad for a full size SUV. Okay, right here in front of the vehicle, of course, we have the GMC logo, professional grade, nice and bold. That way you can see it. You got your chrome accents giving us a nicer look to the vehicle. Of course, right here in the, the headlights here, of course, you have the shatterproof headlights. <clears throat> of course, I have, also have your fog lights. Also have the chrome accents down here also as well. <clears throat> Side of the vehicle here, of course, you got your 18-inch wheels, Michelin tires. You got your alloy wheels gives it a, a nicer look as well. Also on the side of the vehicle you do have your your breakaway mirrors that way in case any you hit anything as far as another mirror maybe in the in the parking lot or something like that it's just gonna fold in the mirror is not actually gonna break. As far as appearance of course you have your pinstripe here it gives it a little bit nicer look to the vehicle as well. You do have your chrome chrome handles here a uh, little bit a little bit nicer as well. These come in handy if for some reason you're at the grocery store, somebody, you know, hits that into your car, you're not gonna have to repaint the whole door. You'll just have to take care of that part as well. That comes in handy. On the top here, of course, you have your roof rails. Um, you can always add another bar there. You can put whatever you want on the top there. If you're going out of town, some baggage, something like that. If you wanna follow me to the back of the vehicle, I'll show you some of the other features in the back. Okay, the back of the vehicle here, of course you do have your power lift gate, you can open it from here, a little bit easier, that way if you're at the grocery store, you want to open the vehicle before you get there, it's a lot easier, you've got your hands full or something like that. You can also do it here as well, after if you want to close it, you can close it here and also on the remote itself, so it's a little bit easier for, for you. You also do have the rear camera on here as well, so it's a little easier when you're backing up, that way you know what's behind you. These here, of course, are going to be your rear sensors. That way you get too close to something within five feet, it's going to tell you, hey, you're too close. The more it beeps, the closer you're getting to something, so it lets you know. You have your storage back here, a little storage area here where you can put some extra stuff. You want to hide stuff so nobody can see what you got back here. Um, let's go ahead, since we're getting close to the front of the vehicle, let's go ahead and take a seat and I'll show you the features in the inside. Okay, in the back of the vehicle here, let me show you a little bit about what you can do here as far as moving the seats. If somebody needs to get to the back instead of going through the middle there, it's a lot easier. Pull on the handle here and you just slide the seat forward. Gives you real easy access to get to the third seat there. You want to put it back in place, just push it back. So that's how that goes. And then also you can also fold it over. So in case you're going to put all the seats down, you have more storage space. You have the latch back here, of course, if you have a child seat or something like that, that's where you would put that. <clears throat> of course, it is a seven seater. The interior is a, it's a uh, metallic gray, so it gives it a little bit nicer look. It's not as hot as a black, of course. You do have your air vents back here, all the way to the third row seat. So your, your people in the back don't get too hot. Also, you have the controls here. If somebody in the back wants to do the controls, they can move the controls here as well. Let me go ahead and show you the, the front of the vehicle since this is all that's in the back here. Okay, let me show you a little bit about the, on this side of the vehicle as far as the driver's side. Of course, you have your leather wrapped steering wheel. Gives it a very nice look to it. Have everything at your fingertips here as far as your cruise controls right here. Turn it on. Of course, your set is right here. You're going to, of course, resume here and then your cancel is there as well. You got everything here as far as your radio controls, your volume controls are right here. You know, your source, AM, FM, satellite radio, your pages are right here as well. Everything's at your fingertips. You don't have to worry about messing with the controls over here. Over here on this side, you're going to have your, you have automatic lights, so you don't have to mess with the lights. It's a lot easier for you. You don't have to worry about, oh, if, if you remember, if you turned them on, on or off. Of course, on this side, you're going to have your, your uh, windshield wipers as well so everything like I said is right here at the fingertips as far as in the middle here as far as where your radio and everything is very very self-explanatory you got your 
turn on the radio here on the big power button here your seek and everything the this little eye here is going to give you info as far as if you have it on satellite radio or if you have it like on an mp3 or something like that it gives you information on there you do have of course this is going to be to turn up your air condition you can also push here and it's going to you'll be able to control it in the rear as well in the back of the vehicle of course here also you can open your power lift gate from here you can actually turn it off as well if you don't want your passenger messing with it or something like that you have your two cup holders here uh, everything is very accessible you have your center console you got a little bit of space there as far as if you're gonna put some stuff in there maybe to hide your wallet you can leave it in the car or something like that you can also actually move this back as well you got a little bit more depth to this here of course you can put your change and stuff like that you got a lot of depth here you can hide a good amount of stuff in there so, like I said everything is pretty accessible on it all your vents of course it's got the nice look got the accent chrome here gives it a nice look to the vehicle another storage area right here <clears throat> good size good size uh, glove box there put your manual and things like that got your side curtain airbags all the way to the back on both sides very safe vehicle um, that concludes basically on the what I showed you today was a 2010 GMC Acadia don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook at Pain Mission. Uh, my name is George Poehler, here at Pain Mission Volkswagen. Hope to see you there soon.